And all of this has to change in the higher level of consciousness if we are to enter into fifth dimensional consciousness and we are to evolve into the Superman, then we have to leave behind the old, old systems. And it has to start with sexuality. It's one of the number one things that must come to light and must evolve into a higher dimension. And that means by educating our youngsters from early age about sexuality, making them understand what it is, making them understand this energy that they have, how they can control this energy, and how it should be used to actually teaching our youngsters as they evolve, as they come to a puberty and as they get stimulated and they get aroused is and it's they're at the most part the strongest it's very powerful energy that all of a sudden is awakened in your body you're 13 years old and 12 13 14 years old you're a girl and you start developing boobs and hips and you have your menstrual cycle and you're a boy and you start having hard on and you're developing hair and your facial hair changes and your voice changes. It's very confusing. It's a very confusing process. And we have no, as a culture, no container. We don't have an area that they can safe, safely enter into this area and be educated and learn how to use this energy. And that is a perfect time for us to teach them Tantra, to hold their hand and to teach them that this sexual energy actually could be used for self-realization. That's a perfect time to create an enlightened society with our children that's where we start because yeah i mean when do you want to do it you can't do it when you're 60 or 70 or 80 years old we ha if we're going to make a revolution and change the world we have to start with with educating our children into the new world and to create systems styles of doing it so if we introduce them correctly to sexuality so we can alleviate prostitution, we can alleviate pornography, and also by educating them correctly, the rate of perversion will drop drastically and eventually we can get rid of perverts too. Because every human being from childhood gets an opportunity to learn about sexuality and Tantra and making them realize that actually this innate desire for having sex is A, is a good thing. It could be used in a correct way. So we learn to be sensitive. We learn to be kind. And we learn to use this powerful energy for enlightenment, which we're doing the opposite. By suppressing this energy, all we do is we're creating anger because we're suppressing this energy. And it's going underground and it's getting dark. And we can see what's happening in the world. And now, with all these uh, new information coming out, which is nothing new about it. It's just coming to the general public about all these pedophiles and all these uh, men are abusing little children sexually. Now it's coming out, which has been around ever since the ever since. 
by why are we doing that? Why are we um, have to do something like this? We're doing it because we're sick in our minds. And how are we sick in our minds? By men wanting to have sex with an eight-year-old or nine-year-old or touching him inappropriately, which now it is coming out. Again, there's nothing, this is nothing new. This has been happening for thousands of years. By why? Why is it happening? Because of a sick mind. Someone's twisted in here. Someone's really fucked up here. And they're twisted in their head because of what? Because our society, the church, the priest, the, the mosque, the religion, kept telling us this is dark, this is bad, this is shameful, you can't have sex, you shouldn't think about it, you shouldn't touch yourself. Which sexuality has everything that we need to evolve into a higher dimension. Everything that we need is there already. And we all think about it. And we all desire it. I don't care how old you are and who you are. Majority in past 10 years that I've been doing this professionally, I have met thousands of people. Thousands of people who've either been sexually abused or traumatized. That's one part of it. And another part of it that they want to have a successful sexual relationship. And they can't. Or they don't know how to. And also, where do our children learn about sex? How do they learn about it? How do they find out about stuff? You know, in a modern society, what do they do? They're 13 years old, 14 years old. They go to a party. They're drinking or they're taking some pills. And then the next thing is they're kind of screwed up. They're out of it. 